Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to be reviewing the Ella and Mila nail polish and also nail care products. So I am new to this brand. They are made in the US, cruelty free and vegan, and seven free formula. You can also find these products at your local Target store. I did see a small selection on Ulta's website, but I did order these with my own money directly from the ellaandmila.com website, and I will of course put links below. I purchased the Nail Strengthener, the Base and Top Coat Duo, and two nail polish colors. So if you guys want to know my thoughts, then keep on watching. So first off, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when it came in the mail. Everything was wrapped in bubble wrap, shipping was free for the US, and yeah, I was really happy with the presentation, the box, the packaging was adorable and I was very happy with my shipping experience. Here are my nails currently. So if you haven't watched my videos in a while, my nails are now an almond shape, and yeah, they're looking good, they're looking healthy, and let's go ahead and get started with this review and application. So the first product we're gonna talk about is the Nail Strengthener. All the products from Ella and Mila retail for $10.50 each, and they all have that same 7 free formula and 13.3 mils of product. So here's the packaging. The box is really, really cute. I love the little elephant on the side. It's adorable. So this product here claims to contain vitamin E. It's really good for weak, thin, splitting, or peeling nails. They do recommend a four-step treatment, like a four-week treatment pr uh, program. I did not follow that, however. I typically wear my nail strengthener under my base coat. That's just what I do, but yeah. So here's a look at the nail polish bottle. Really beautiful square bottle. It is glass, and it's kind of like a nice soft frosted packaging. The formula does have a little bit of a blue tint to it, but it does not show up blue on the nails. This does have a standard brush applicator. And yeah, let's go ahead and apply this to the nails. So my thoughts on this product, it does have a slight fragrance. I will note that it's not strong at all. I do not like fragrance in products, but this smells so nice. I feel like every time I use this product, I'm at a spa. So light fragrance, really great formula, very thin, easy to apply. I've used this for gosh, probably like four to five weeks now, and I love it. I love this product. It dries really fast. It leaves a nice, shiny, gloss finish on your nails. If you don't like wearing nail, nail color, this is great to wear on your nails because it will protect them, strengthen them, but also give a nice, glossy look to your natural nails. So I just do a really even, thin coat and make sure to cap off the free edge. And I also like to apply this underneath my nails as well for extra protection. So here's what it looks like. Uh, completely dry. I would say it takes about five minutes. So it dries really nice and fast. Overall, I think this is my favorite product from this brand so far and I definitely will repurchase. This definitely does what it claims to do. My nails are thicker, they're healthier, they're stronger and I'm so impressed. So I had a little mishap with some gel polish recently, a while back actually, and I had peeling. My nails started peeling, they became really dry. I will insert some pictures in just a moment so you can see how awful they were. I cut them down, started growing them out again, and they were more of an oval shape in the photos I'm going to pop up here on the screen. But this product has changed my nails. It healed the peeling parts, and here you'll see in the photos, my nails, especially on my right hand. So this is my right hand, and my index finger and middle finger were peeling. They were awful, and I didn't know what to do. I started using this product, and I kid you not, after just like a month of using it, my nails grew out longer. Uh, the peeling went away, it like grew out, so it was easy, it was easy to like file off the edges. And this is my nails now. They're longer, they're healthier, and uh, here again is an up close look at my right hand. So there's those two nails now after using this product. I'm really, really impressed. I think this is way better than the LA Girl Calcium Nail Builder, which I've been, that's been my holy grail forever, but this is way better. 
and I love it. It's fantastic. All right, so let's move on to the base coat and top coat duo, but we're going to talk about the uh, base coat first, but you can buy this duo set for $18 versus buying them for $10.50 each, so you do save a little bit of money. All right, so let's start with the base coat first. So once again, this retails for $10.50. You do get 13.3 mils of products, and of course, it's seven free. This one does not have a fragrance. The only product that had a fragrance to it was the nail strengthener. As you can tell, the texture of this one is definitely more milky looking. It does have kind of like this cloudy color to it, but it doesn't really show up on the nail. Once again, same uh, simple, just typical nail polish brush. So. I just like to do a nice even thin layer to my nails and that's pretty much it. Once again, this dries really quickly. I would say between five to eight minutes, it's completely dry. I definitely like to wait a good 10 minutes just to make sure it's completely dry before applying my nail color. So with this product, it does exactly what it says it does. It says that it uh, smooths out the surface of your nails any imperfections, it's a ridge filling formula and also prolongs the wear of your nail lacquer. And I definitely agree. This does everything that I want a base coat to do. It preps your nail for nail color. It prolongs my nail polish color, prevents chipping, and I really love it. I have noticed though that the formula is starting to thicken up a little bit over time. So I just want to note that, but this was great. Uh, when my nails were peeling at the time that I started using this, I did two coats. So if you have really damaged peeling nails, I would definitely suggest doing two thin even coats and it really does smooth the surface of any texture or peeling that you may have. So this gets an A plus in my book and I really love this product. Alright, so moving on to the nail colors. I picked out two nail polish shades. Both of them have a cream finish. The first one here is called Sway With Me. And this is described as a neutral light gray. And I definitely agree. Um, this is a cream finish, so no shimmer whatsoever. And as you can tell, this is another beautiful glass bottle. I love the packaging actually on all the nail polishes and nail care products from this brand. Uh, so this one, once again, uh, the shade name is on the bottom and it has a standard brush so same as the other ones so this polish i will say my thoughts on this formula it's extremely thick and i can't believe i'm going to say this but it's actually too pigmented and too thick i really struggle applying this it doesn't apply evenly it kind of streaks on me and the formula is just too thick no matter how many times i warm up the bottle between my hands or give it a quick shake it's just a really thick formula and I, I don't know why. It's brand new, not sure why it's like that. Um, but as you can see here, I had a really hard time avoiding getting nail polish on my cuticle area and on my skin. It's just because of the formula. I mean, I'm not perfect at applying nail polish, but this formula definitely made things a little tricky. So not a fan of the formula. However, the color is beautiful. It dries fairly quickly, I would say between... 8 to 10 minutes, you can touch your nail and it's completely dry. So yeah, it dries fast. Um, I had no chipping whatsoever, but it is really messy application. Uh, so moving on to the next shade, which is called Please Me. This is described as a light blue violet shade. Once again, this is a cream finish, seven free formula. This is a beautiful color. I absolutely love this polish. Uh, once again, standard brush as with all the other products and while I apply this I will say beautiful formula completely different from the other shade sway with me oh my goodness this this is like the perfect nail polish formula in my book uh, it's not too thin it's not too thick uh, I'm just gonna do one even thin coat and as you can see see it's full opaque beautiful color absolutely love the formula on here once again dries fairly quick has a nice glossy shiny finish and I'm not sure why the formulas are different between these two colors. Maybe I received a bad one, but I do prefer the formula on the shade Please Me. It's just perfect. Absolutely happy with this one. And I'm going to do my thumbnails last because that's what I usually do. 
And overall, I think both formulas are nice, but my favorite is definitely Please Me, the really pretty bluish purple color. It's just my favorite. So here's after I cleaned up my cuticles with some acetone and a brush. And this color is beautiful. Sway With Me is a really beautiful finish. Glossy, shiny color. Again, just not a fan of the formula. And then here's what Please Me looks like after I cleaned up a little bit. I didn't have to clean up that much though because the formula is amazing on this color. So moving on, last but not least, we have the top coat. So this is the uh, quick drying top coat. It's called In a Rush. Claims to dry within three minutes and give a glossy shine to your nails. It also has a UV inhibitor, which prevents yellowing of the nails. So for me, I would say this does not dry within three minutes. I would say five minutes. It does dry fast though. Compared to a typical top coat, nail polish top coat, this does dry really fast. So my issue with this product, it is very thick. Um, the first few times I used it, it applied beautifully to the nails. No streaking, it just was beautiful. But after using this for quite a few weeks now, I've noticed the formula is starting to get thick and goopy, pretty similar to Sesh V. If you guys are for familiar with that a fast drying top coat, um, it gets really thick and goopy. And unfortunately, this one does too. I will say that this one is not good over top of nail art or nail stamping or nail designs. It will smudge and smear, smear the color. So this is not a good top coat for nail art, but it is fine if you're just wearing like a typical nail polish or glitter. It does fine over glitter polish or, you know, a cream finish. It's perfectly fine for that. But for nail art, I would say it's a big no-no. So my biggest complaint, it's not good over nail art and it's getting really thick and goopy. So I will probably eventually have to add some nail polish thinner. Overall, this did prevent my nails from chipping. I could get a solid 12 days, which I would not usually do. But for the purpose of this video, I wore this for 12 days straight and had no chipping. Super shiny, glossy finish. I really like that of this product and yeah that's pretty much my thoughts on all these products definitely my favorite is the nail strengthener this is holy grail for me now you guys i would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good one that's cruelty free and vegan it is amazing. So that was just my thoughts on these products from Ella and Mila Cosmetics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I, of course, will link and list all these products below in the description box. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. Like what other nail videos you guys want to see an updated nail care video. Please let me know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to my channel for lots of cruelty-free and beauty things. I will see you all next time, you guys. Bye!